Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I saw the coolest picture. It was a wall of books and they were all done in different styles. So this is my take on it. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm finding out how many pages I have in the book and then I'm going to find the middle of the book because I'm going to actually start in the middle. Some um, things go, you know, all the way to the cover of the book, but I'm going to actually leave some pages because I thought that would look cool as well. So I, you can see I'm just folding up to the spine uh, with my first side here. Once I do that, then I will fold it over and match it up to that other one so that they they meet up here let me turn this so you can see see how it just meets up perfectly and it's almost like a little a little paper hat so i'm going to do on this side of the book i'm going to do five of those i'm going in that direction and then once i do that i will go to the other side of the book and do five more so i just kind of kept flip-flopping i do five go to the other side do five and work back and forth now th there's not a whole lot of pages in this book but if you need to you can always rip out pages when it starts to look like it's too thick and might mess up the spine or something like that especially if you're going all the way cover to cover um, and this one I did remove a couple of pages on each side because I kind of felt like they were getting a little bit tight and again it's an old book and these pages are super brittle um, so I was really trying to be sure when I was folding them over that I didn't rip down, um, you know, where they're bound together. Uh, a couple of them did just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. So, but you could easily do this uh, with any books. Um, these are ones I've just collected over the years. Some of them I even get for free when you're, you know, sometimes you're leaving the thrift store, the antique store, and they have that little free box for, by the front door. I always grab at least something out of there because there's always something I'm like, oh, we can craft with that. So you can see here, this is where I just ripped out a couple of pages just to kind of give it a little bit. Um, I would say if you have pages that are, you know, books that have lots more pages, I should say, um, I would definitely be ripping out as I go along. Now definitely keep these because we can do a lot of other cool stuff with this. So I'm just going to keep folding until it's really f full. Um, but again, I'm not going cover to cover. I am just doing it um, because I want to leave the book um, so that you see the pages. Now, I have this uh, frame that is gold and it has a black background. It's like a chalkboard looking thing. And I thought, oh, this would be so cool to hang up there. But even if you just straight put them to the wall, I think that would be amazing. Over time, I've collected a lot of vintage frames and just the gold frames, there's nothing in them. And I thought, oh my gosh, I could come up with lots of different ideas for that. So look how cool this turned out. I love it so much. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to follow the page for more crafts.